Margaret Hyde, Director of Community Relations at the Mid Museum in Charlotte, North Carolina. The museum currently is featuring the photography exhibition Walls, Defend, Divide, and the Divine at our uptown location. Walls examines the historic use and artistic treatment of walls over the centuries, whether they are made of stone, steel, sand, or wire. The exhibition space is divided into six sections, delineation, defense, deterrent, the divine, decoration, and the invisible. Some walls are viewed as protective, even beautiful works of art, while others are seen as barriers that can be physical or even emotional. This program is based on a call and response concept of an artistic interpretive reply to the call of photo images captured in walls. It features six dynamic poets who respond based on their view of a wall encounter. You'll experience with them a distinctive rhythm and style that immerses you into the artist's feelings and ideas around them. This call from a diverse photo exhibition leads to these powerful poetic responses that can cause you to see, go beyond, feel, and even reimagine the defense, division, or divinity of a wall. La pared, con todo mi amor, para Lorena. Cuando llegues aquí, vas a ver nubes y bosques, montañas y ríos, mariposas, libélulas, luciérnagas y grillos. Verás campos de flores muy bonitas, bonitas, sí, pero nunca tan bonitas como tú. También vas a encontrar paredes con un lado oscuro, hechas con ladrillos de temor, ignorancia y prejuicio, muros construidos con el solo fin de alejarte de lo tuyo. Pero que nada de eso te aflija, porque cuando llegues también nos encontrarás a todos juntos, a mamá, a papá y a Big Sister, a tu abuela y a tu abuelo, a tu tía y a tu tío. Aquí, impacientes, esperando por tu arribo. Con nuestros corazones formaremos una pared para protegerte de todo lo que es feo y dañino. Será un muro hecho con ladrillos de amor, de ternura y de cariño. Con una puerta siempre abierta para recibir a tus amigos y una ventana grande por donde durante el día entrará el sol para llenarte con su tibieza y su brillo. Y por la noche podrás ver a tu bisabuela, la luna, sonriéndote desde una cortina de estrellas. Sobre esta pared ondeará una pancarta de sueños y de seda, y en ella, bordadas con sonrisas en colores de acuarela, estas palabras, Bienvenida Bebita, Bienvenida Lorena. Hello, my name is Irania, and I'm going to read a poem called El Secreto de Mi Abuela, My Grandmother's Secret. Por muchos años me refugié en el lado izquierdo de la cama. La impecable sábana sabía que ninguno cruzaría el medio. Tú allá, mirando la puerta negra que da al baño. Yo acá, 
mirando la ventana que da la catedral. Aquí, mi lado silencioso, arrugado de ganas y etapas sin quemar. Allá a tu lado predecible, subidas y bajadas con ojos cerrados. Yo, llena de canciones, tú lleno de rutinas. Yo, llena de agua, tú lleno de metal. Yo, la pierna que no se atreve a cruzar. Tú, el hueco que rodeo y contemplo en sequedad. Engendramos hijos sin cruzar el medio de la cama. Casa que se cae en busca de un hogar. Dos cuerpos que no saben saborear la noche. Cama, fractura invisible. Me hundo entre sábanas y me pesa el tiempo. Pasan los hijos, pasan las canas, pasan y mueren los sueños. Y la impecable sábana sabe que ninguno cruzará el medio de la cama. Déjame vivir en el lado izquierdo de la vida. Quizá abriré mañana la puerta para que entre la mujer que siempre anhelé ser. My grandmother's secret. For many years, I took refuge on the left side of the bed. The impeccable sheet knew that none would cross the middle. You there looking at the black door that leads to the bathroom, and I am here gazing the window that overlooks the cathedral. Here, my silent sight wrinkled with desire. There, your predictable sight, ups and downs with closed eyes. I am full of songs. You are full of routines. I am filled with water. You are filled with metal. I am the leg that does not dare to cross. You are the hole that I surround and contemplate. We beget children without crossing the middle of the bed house that falls in search of a home, two bodies that don't know how to taste the night, bed, invisible fracture. I sink between sheets and time weighs on me. The children pass, gray hair pass, dreams pass and die and only the white sheet knows that no one will cross the middle. Let me live on the left side of life. Maybe I will open the door tomorrow so that the woman I always wanted to be might come. Thank you. Desert, this sun wants to melt me into sands that would cover the reminders of me. Wants to bleach bones left exposed, turn them into landmarks passes by would ignore. Desert object one, zapatos. Choose a child size three, worn. They know more miles than they should. How old were you? Do the number of holes in the soles match your losses? Desert Object 2, Diccionario Inglés Español. Spanish English Dictionary, pages yellowed by use and sun. What were you hoping to say? Wanted to say, you are the reason. Wanted to say, I am need. Wanted to say, a dream is built out of necessity. Wanted to say, separation is never a decision made lightly. Desert Object 3, Botella de Agua con Crucifijo. Water bottle with crucifix. Does this make the water holy? When lips were parched, did this water bless them? When it was left behind, was the lack of it torture? A nail puncturing flesh. Desert Object 5, Caja de Cigarrillos. A pack of cigarettes, only four left. How long have you been traveling? Did you smoke one every morning as a simple routine to hold on to? 
that you exchange one for conversation between drags? Was it your last? Been enclosed at home these past few months. Not able to see friends or family, really relatively anyone, except on the screen. We all zoomed in. A barrier has been placed between us all. It was all unforeseen, caught us all off guard. Now we have to stay on guard, keep our beings guarded to stay healthy, don't want to spread disease. Best practices have been given, still everyone's ill at ease, ill-informed. A wall of misinformation surround us all, trying to break through to the other side. But since everyone is so smart, since they read a paragraph about how this might have started, everyone has become a doctor, a nurse, a public health official. No one knows what to believe, whom to trust. A virus has ba barricaded our minds, made it hard to breathe, encircled our feelings, gotten the best of us. But we must never let pride hem us up Cause the fall, the fall is hard for those who know too much and not enough. Never let them confine you, but please stay masked up. Pull the wall up over your nose till who knows? Maybe, maybe until the ramparts we watch are gallantly streaming common sense instead of trite defensiveness, then maybe we'll break down the parapet that divides us into camps and fights against us. Time has withdrawn, wave a white flag over the partition and surrender to the cause. Cause this moment is not about one individual, it's about all for one and one for all. Don't let that vertical hurdle take you, take you, take you down the wall. I don't want to open my mouth. Enough hurtful words have been said. Enough criticism has inundated the atmosphere. Enough negativity has blinded reasoning. I love you. You are perfect. And yet, my mind is a play of recreating the perfection that already exists, forcing it to be more like me building walls that not even your tenderness can overthrow. I'm sorry. I lied and weak. My soul exposed, my heart wrinkled. Nothing matters but you and you and I. Life is short. My fingers hurt from writing my story on the walls of this country. The blood in the crevices I give to you. You must know, living wasn't an option, but a command. Where do you go when you are forced to leave? I climb the wall, hit poems in the mortar joints, and jump to the sun to see the clouds from the other side. Glory lines between past and present held my aspirations captive. I was born rose that became thorn when I needed to. Survival does that to immigrants. So here I am, pushing you away, trying to keep you at a social distance. I'm sorry, I'm speaking from a place I don't like to visit. Life is short, silence is better. But I need to say it one more time to make sure you hear me. I'm sorry. I love you. A wall is sometimes a good thing. Whether it be a wall that you wail to, add graffiti to, to make it pretty, or boundary to hold back an army of Huns, make it into a levee to protect a city. But sometimes walls can be infamous. 
An infamous American once famously said that he would build a wall and make another country pay for it. He says this with the confidence that only wall builders who want to keep out anyone that they don't deem worthy of having a dream seem to have, have. <laughs> so they plan. They come up with blueprints and what kind of materials and equipment it will take to make this wall great. Again, you have to consider the audacity it takes to say to an entire country, nation, population of people that you don't belong, that your race and class don't matter enough to enter here. Here, a nation corrupted by walls, walls of class and race, walls of gender capped with glass ceilings. We keep ourselves walled into this hypocrisy, this brick by brick ignorance to block out the sunshine of truth. And you begin to wonder about that wall, what they were meant to keep out and what they were meant to keep in, so many walls and constructs that, that we start to feel locked in, boxed in. They say it's for our protection, but the second you try to leave, you begin to see how high these walls really be. Like, we don't need no thought control. And depending on who you build with, you become just another brick in the wall. So mine who designs these walls, these architects and engineers of fear, so many walls and not enough bridges closing the gaps of equity, not enough of us extending ourselves out in the name of humanity and decency. So ask yourself, are you just another brick in the wall? Just more concrete with more solid ideas of how to gatekeep resources and opportunities? Do you wall yourself off from people who don't look like you? Build a fence around your worldview so your eyes don't have to see the signs that read homeless? Can you spare anything so I can eat? I mean, I get it. You gotta keep yourself protected, but this pandemic has shown us has shown us that as much as walls and masks keep us safe, they've also kept us disconnected. These walls erected, whether they be real or metaphoric, will slowly destroy us if we let it. So the next time you see a wall, I hope you have enough curiosity and courage to wonder what's on the other side of it. When you see a wall of injustice and unfairness, that you have the bravery to be a Berlin citizen and bring it down. We are living in a unique time when the world needs builders and wonderful leaders, healers and connectors, people who rise up and stand tall, who recognize that they will not just be another brick in the wall.